Hello everybody! Ramps are in this year. I'm excited to share with you my Fall 2020 Fashion Collection. For my first piece, we're going retro, back to 1979. Denim jackets are back, and they're better than ever before. Vertical stripes are so 2019, you're going to want to wear horizontal stripes this year. The fashion world's going to be going mad for plaid. You better grab some of these plaid shirts before they're all gone. Color coordinate with the great outdoors. You'll fit right in with this camo jacket. No, you're not seeing double here, but you will look twice as good wearing this shirt. Yowza! Check it out! You're going to rule the school if you wear this shirt. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens out there. Channel your inner tiger in this one. We've got dresses. Pants. And even accessories. Fall 2020 is all about the ramps. Okay, so let's talk about what all these materials have in common. None of them use images as their color channel. In fact, they all use ramps. So let's take a look at how we can use ramps when working with materials. For this demonstration, I will first create a Lambert material. I will rename my material. And apply it to my meshes. With my material selected, I will go to the Attribute Editor. Selecting my material's color channel, I will go to 2D Textures and select Ramp. Pressing 6 on my keyboard will allow me to see the material applied to my meshes. And as you can see, the initial ramp that is applied is a black and white gradient. Notice that I can shift the uh, colors on my gradient, moving them further to the left or right. And if I select the little handles above the gradient, I can change their color by going to the selected color field. Notice that I can change the orientation of my ramp by changing its type. I can have my ramp go either along the U direction or the V direction. Switching over to the Place 2D Texture node, I can also uh, change the number of times my material tiles by changing the numbers under Repeat UV. Notice the hard edge I have between the red and the yellow. I will fix that by sliding the yellow to the middle and then creating another red to the far right of my gradient so it wraps around and meets itself. By clicking additional points on my gradient, I can add more colors. I'll select all of the primary and secondary colors of the color spectrum. I can also change the interpolation of my gradient. Linear creates a smooth transition. However, if I change it to none, I'll have no transition between the colors. Notice that there are a bunch of other properties that we can change. You can find these underneath your gradient in the Attribute Editor. Notice that my ramp is a V-ramp, so if I adjust the U-wave, nothing happens. However, if I adjust the V-wave, it introduces a wave into my gradient.
I can also adjust noise as well as noise frequency. If I change the type of gradient from V-ramp to U-ramp, I will get vertical stripes. I'm going to return to my Place 2D texture node and adjust the repeat UVs so that I have more vertical lines. And as you can now see, when I adjust the U-wave, it does have an effect. Adjusting the noise and the noise frequency can create some very interesting materials and textures. Besides the V-ramp and U-ramp, there are a number of other options under the ramp type. With the tartan ramp applied, I can get some very interesting effects playing around with the noise frequency and noise values. And both the U wave and V wave will have an effect. I'm going to apply the circular ramp. It's a lot of fun playing around with the different properties of the ramp shaders. The tiger stripe pattern you saw earlier in the video was created by selecting the Place 2D texture node and adjusting the repeat UVs so that it repeated more in one axis as opposed to the other. Lots of different effects can be applied to your texture by adjusting the repeat UVs. And finally, within the Place 2D Texture node, there is also a Noise UV. You can introduce a value to that to get additional noise on your texture. Remember that you are not limited to using ramps just on the color of your, of your materials. You can also use ramps for transparency. Notice that when I select the gradient or ramp used for transparency and adjust it, you see it adjust in my viewport as well. Ramps can also be used as bump maps. and you can also apply them for specularity. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and now go make your own fashion statements using ramps.